I want to demonstrate how to utilize Advanced Fees app in order to handle the delivery fee with a delivery company such as Uber Eats or uh, Postmates or, or Grubhub. Let me kind of, I already have a version of it set up, so I just kind of want to quickly demonstrate how it would work in the practical aspect of it and then go into the details of how I got this thing set up. So here we are, we're in the register app and I'm about to choose this Coke right there. And when I do, it asks me, do you want to add a fee to an item? And I'll say yes. And it adds Uber fee, 15 cents, which turns out to be specifically 12%. Okay. Um, and so there it is. That's one way of doing it. All right. And let me quickly show you how I got this done. So we got this advanced fee uh, to activate a, uh, a fee that's called Uber fee. It's assigned to all the items, right? So I just took my entire menu and I've selected all of it, okay? And I've made the fee to be conditional and I can even control the question here, right? So the question is, do you want to add this fee to an item? And I can rewrite this question. All I have to be, all I have to do is just make sure that yes means yes a fee and no means no fee. But the question can be positioned whichever way you'd like. And so that's one way of setting it up. There is a drawback to this and the drawback is that if your average shopping cart goes beyond maybe five items you're going to have a heck of a time to constantly have to um you know deal with um let me just turn this off constantly have to deal with this question let me show you what i mean let me go into my tobacco and let me grab this item let me ask this item okay Oh, this one also has modifiers. Okay, I'm going to go with this one. All right, let me add this item. Yes. So you see what I mean? Like, it's if you got a lot of items, that's a lot of yes clicking. And unfortunately, there's no way to avoid it because it's a conditional uh, fee triggered on an item. So that's just the way that it would work. But, you know, that's one way. Um, let me show you another way of doing this. We can grab and edit this one. And I can make this fee um, instead of Uber fee. Actually, it doesn't even matter what we call it because it's going to become there is delay bill, right? So we have a well, let's call it delivery fee. We have percentage. It's a twelve percent. And you notice that these things are disabled. And so to have these uh, delivery fee or the twelve percentage changed, I'll show you where that's done. But you're no longer choosing items because that's just order level, and we're still going to keep it conditional. But now it's just going to ask that questions one per order and not every item, right? So we're gonna save it, okay? Now let me show you where I got the, the fee name and the percentage. I'm gonna go to setup, okay? I'm gonna go to additional charges, I'm gonna enable it. I'm gonna put 12% here, that's what I want. And I want the delivery here, delivery fee here. And there is a reason why I'm not calling it Uber fee because with this method, you can only really have one fee um, and no other, right? So it has to be broad enough to where it can be applied to all of yours, uh, all of your delivery services. Whereas with the other one, you can actually have different fees to different providers. But with this one, it has to be just a universal one fee per the entire account. So that's one of the drawbacks of this one. But on the usability, it kind of goes a little bit different. So here we have everything turned on. Let me go ahead and just save this order. Um, let's just go ahead and cancel out of it. All right, so let me just start by adding a Coke, right? So do you want to add this fee to an item? Yes. All right, so the fee is added. And now we're gonna go and let me just choose here. You see, we're no longer asking about the fee. Um, at all, we just keep going. But the fee is right there, it's no longer item level, it's right there, it says delivery fee 12%, right? And so that's another way of handling a fee. And the benefit of using our app on top of it is because you know we you get to ask a question at least once. Um, and, and, and so that's that it makes it conditional or you can also have it turned on all the time if you're just in delivery mode currently. Um, and 
it'll automatically add the fee without having the fee added manually. Because, you know, if, if you didn't have our app, the way to add this fee would be through this interface, right? So you would add or remove the delivery fee. Uh, there'd be no way to automate it without the advanced fee app. So that would be the second way of handling the delivery fee using the advanced fees app. And I think that those are these uh, those are the two, only two ways that I can think of uh, that advanced fee app can be utilized to handle delivery fees. What do you guys think? Does this help?